Hey everybody, today I'm hanging out next to the Bass Raider. Uh, I love this little boat so much. It's actually sitting under the dock. I made my own little poor man's uh, boat lift for it. And uh, let me show you how I use it and get it down. I've got two cleats on the dock. Uh, one for the bow, one for the stern. And these lines here are easily uh, undone with just a couple cleat hitches. And you'll see that the boat goes down as I lower these ropes. And I have one more uh, set of ropes here on the front handles, or is it the back handles? I can't remember. But within a couple of minutes, I can have the boat in the water, and then I don't have to worry about the bottom getting all junky. There we go. Cool. Now I just gotta untie these ropes and pull the Bass Raider up onto the dock. All right, well, she's a little bit dirty, but uh, I happen to know that she floats, so I'm not worried about that. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the 9.8 that I have on the Predator, and I, I know it works really good on the Predator, which is uh, rated for, I think, a seven horse. The Bass Raider is only rated for like a three and a half horse, but I've made some significant improvements to the transom here to try to really stiffen it up so today I want to see if I can put a 9.8 on that. <laughs> okay, first things first, I gotta try to tilt this monster up. Oh, this is a lot heavier than my five horse, <laughs> I tell ya. Cool, with this tilted up, I can move the whole motor forward and boat. I gotta love having a light boat. This is a lot easier than when I swap the uh, big motors on my, uh, my Chris Craft's uh, Catalina. <laughs> this uh, bracket here was tilted pretty heavily because of the transom on the Predator not being straight. So I'm just going to reconfigure this so that it's straight up and down. And now it'll be ready to put on the Bass Raider. <laughs> Yep, I missed. There it is. There you go. Whew. Well, so far so good. <laughs> Let me tighten this one down, and then we can slide this boat over the water. Okay. Right. It might not be exactly the easiest thing in the world to do, but it's a lot easier than putting three five horse motors on a boat. <laughs> see if I can't lower this now. There she goes. Beautiful. She's ready to go in the water. And after I hook up the uh, gas tank, put a seat on this thing, it'll be ready for a test run. Okay, now I think I have got everything that I need. Gasoline, I remember that from the first time I put a uh, best Raider on the water. And a PFD paddle in case the motor uh, gives me trouble. Let's get this thing started and get out there. So far so good. I'm gonna untie it and head on out. Okay, let's twist the throttle. <laughs> I can already tell I got a higher center of gravity, so it's a lot tippier. Oh boy. Nose is way up in the air. Digging, come on, let's see if we can get this up. A little more, a little more, a little more. There it is. Nose is going down. There she goes. 
All right, I'm on plane now, but I don't dare twist the throttle anymore. Matter of fact, let's, uh, let's take it easy for a second. Whew. Wow. Yeah, that uh, transom is really close. Really close to the uh, to the water. So I don't want the boat to fill up with with water while I'm underway. Oof. I haven't had it wide open yet. I'm gonna go up this creek over here, get out of the uh, main channel, and we'll try to uh, open it up just a little bit. But I've got my doubts. <laughs> All right, it's a little bit shallow here, so I'm gonna try to get on plane, twist it. There we go, oh, yeah, it's up on plane. That's pretty good. Some nervous water here. We'll keep an eye out for manatees before I really, really open it up. Yeah, we're good. Just current, I think. Maybe mullet. Right now, I'm moving along at a really nice pace. I mean, for a Bass Raider, she's spitting a little bit of water. Uh, but I'm moving along just really nice. I'm gonna try to twist it a little more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. This is pretty ridiculous. The seats are higher, so um, it's definitely tippier. It's a narrower boat than the Predator. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't like the uh, extension handle here. It gives me too much of a separation between me and the motor. Uh, it feels like it might slip or let go or uh, in an emergency I wouldn't be able to shut it down as quick. Ugh. I think um, you guys have seen me put a five horse motor on this boat in the, in the past, which is still over its uh, rated capacity. Personally, I felt the five horse was okay for this boat, which is nice to know because if you buy a boat, it's nice to know that if you screw around like I do, you're not going to be in a world of hurt. Uh, however, this is pretty extreme, and I would not suggest a 9.8 horsepower motor on a Bass Raider. So, uh, yeah, there's my home way off in the distance. Let's get back over there and uh, take this motor off of this boat. Oops, I always twist it the wrong way. How about that? <laughs> All right. I'm going to actually, okay, I'm going to twist it real fast and try to get on plane really quick, okay? And, uh, then we'll get back over there and uh, we'll be done with this foolishness. But, okay, let's try this. We're up. Throttle down a little bit. There you go. Sweet. This is perfect. I'm about half throttle right now. And I think this thing is maxed out as far as safety is concerned. Wow. It's, it's very squirrely. It's going left and right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm having too much fun. Oh, throttle her down. Wow, when you make a, a sweeping turn, she lists a lot. Man, oh man. All right, well, yeah, look at that. Taking too much water on board. Good thing I've got a scupper hole there. All right. Let's bring it back to the dock. All right. <clears throat> Not bad, but the Predator, I think, was better. Well, I'll keep these experiments going, and uh, I'll keep you informed as things turn out. I'll see you next time. Ooh, vibrating. <laughs>